I have prepared a demo that I would like to show you where I use the Perl script that you can download from my Oracle support, which makes this entire process a lot easier. So let's go ahead. I'm connected to the source system and I connect to the database. First, I query the status of blockchain tracking. It is disabled. So let's go ahead and enable it. I can see here, this is a 12102 database. And I switch into my sales container. This is a PDB. And I can see here that I have a number of objects created already. Around 500 megabytes. So this is really just a toy database. All my objects are stored in the user's table space. I then connect to the target system head into the database. And I just verified that this is a 19.8 database. I then create a new empty pluggable database called sales. And I open it. And I check here that I don't already have an existing table space called users. I then verify my uh, encryption key store. I need to create a TD master key because this is an encrypted database. And now I can see that my key store is open. Then I go ahead and configure the Perl scripts from my Oracle support. I am connected to the source system and I have downloaded the zip file. This is the MOS node from where you can download it. Simply unzip it and find the file xttt.properties. I've already filled it out with the information needed for this migration. I have the users table space that I want to migrate. My target platform is 13, which is Linux. I define some working locations on the source and destination, where I want to store my data files the details of my ASM instance, a few parallel options to make it faster, and connection uh, credentials to the target database, and also a connect string to both the source and the target database. I then transfer the, all the scripts, including the properties file to my target system. Now I have to create the level zero backup. So I simply just start the Perl script and I use the backup option. It'll automatically detect that this is the first time it runs and create a level zero backup. I've configured the script so that it will automatically transfer the backups to the target system when that is done. And then I manually need to copy this rest.txt file, which has some uh, temporary information that I need on the target system. Then I'm switching to the target host. I already have the scripts there because I copied them from the source. I use the same Perl script, but I use the restore option. I head into ASM CMD and I verify that my data file has been restored. It hasn't been plugged into the database yet, but it's restored into ASM. Now on my source system, I can do an incremental backup. I simply use the same command, just use the backup option. It'll detect that there has already been executed a level zero, and then it'll do a level one on top of that. Copy the little res.txt file to the target system. And I can then use that incremental backup to restore my target data file. Now it's time to complete the migration. Downtime starts and I want to perform the final level one incremental. I connect to the database. I go into my sales PDB 
And I create a table just to be able to verify that all the latest changes are in my target PDB after the migration. Then I set the table space read only. And, I can, and, and then I can perform the final incremental backup. This warning is intended. It complains that the data table space is read only, but that's okay. I copy that little rest.txt file. And now on the target system, I can restore. And that's it. The data file has now been fully restored. Now I can import the metadata and plug in the data files to my PDB. On the target system, I connect to the database. I go into my sales PDB and I create a directory that I can use with data pump. I also create a database link that points back to my source database. And I just verify that it works. This is the parameter file that I use with data pump. I've specified the name of my database link Full equals yes, transport will equal always. That's a full transportable export import. Some best practice with transportable table spaces, where the log file is stored. And then I specify the data files that I want to plug in. And then I simply just start data pump, specify my parameter file. Because this is an encrypted database, I choose to be prompted for the encryption password. And off it goes. It starts by plugging in the table spaces and then it continues to import the metadata. There it is, it's done. A few errors that I can investigate later on. But let's go into the database and verify that the migration was actually successful. I connect to my new sales service. This is the new target PDB. And I just take, check from user tables that my cost to table is there, which means that the migration is successful. All the data was transferred. So this is a really easy way of using transportable table spaces with very minimal downtime by using the Perl scripts from my Oracle support.